All right, so talking about on socials, I know your following's gone up as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty three point three. Oh right, okay. you know the exact yeah. number. And that. I, I do my nice. research. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I know that's gone up. Yeah, that's which I'm is like good. Peter, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, that's a funny story. So yeah, I think I was on maybe about two thousand in twenty end of twenty nineteen to twenty twenty. And funny enough, my brother that's here now, Tristan, we was going to go Napa. Mm. So me, Tristan, and the teeth that's here now. And um, lockdown, like the COVID situation started going mad. Yeah. So the trip got cancelled and I had spare money, right? So I was like, do you know what? Let me see what happens if I run these ads in different countries. So I was, because I was just focusing on England. Yeah. And um, my sound at the time, mm, I don't think England was taking to it very much. So I was getting people fucking with me, but, you know, not as much as I think they should. Um, so I said, you know what, let me experiment with this money that I've got and let me run some ads abroad, Germany, Italy, all these places, right? And I had a song called Respect and it kicked off. Nice. Right, so it kicked off now and then all these countries, South Africa, Italy, Germany, um, they just started fucking with it, right? So then it opened my mind to think, right, the world is a big place, bro. Why am I just focusing on England? Mm. Like, these people still have souls, bro. They still eat, sleep and shit like we do. Why am I just focusing here? Yeah. So I started targeting my audience over there and I was looking at my Spotify analytics and I've seen it. I was having a little bit of listeners from different places. So I targeted that and then that's when I just started getting the followers and shit. So that's basically how that happened. That's nice, yeah. That's yeah. a good way to look at it. Do you yeah. think other artists are kind of missing out on that and not, not thinking, you know, the wide spectrum that you thought? Yeah, yeah. I think, and I could be wrong, I think it's a lot of ego in it right now. I think people mm. like to want to know that they can walk on the road and say, oh, you're blah, blah. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? I think they want that feeling of being known in their area when it's just like, I see it more like a business. I'm like, look, if I can build an audience over there, and I can build a fan base and then monetize that fan base potentially in the future. Mm. Why do I need to be recognized to feed my ego? Yeah. It's a business at the end of the day. When you're an artist, you're a small business. So you need to go where the love is. Wherever the love is, you need to go there. Yeah. And right now, because of the internet, you don't need to have your audience in your country. You can have it wherever. So that's, how base that's basically how I saw it. No, it's true. So, it's true. Yeah, yeah.